All right, so one of our awesome mods, Behold the Wizard, has made an insane mega ramp that he calls Unfair Mega Ramp. It took 30 minutes on solo. We're going to try it out with 14 other people. This is a bad idea. And also, it's lot. raining. Was it supposed to be raining, Steve, or is that... I can't control that. Yes, you most Might certainly... Might be part of why it's called Unfair. Oh, but, okay. Uh, there is a weather option, Steve. You definitely There's also a custom vehicles that. option that you left on. <laughs> oh, yeah. The customs, I... I, I don't know. It's not going to make that much of a difference <laughs> oh, in my opinion. I just opinion. slammed into Behold. Sorry, Mr. Mapper. Oh, oh Tony Hawk! Right. Fitty, fitty! There we go. Sorry, I was grinding. Uh, that was really cool. Oh, Tony Hawk flip? hit the gritty. Thank you. <laughs> Tony Hawk does not hit the gritty, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> fitty, fitty. Hit the gritty. Oh, I wonder oh, man, what the there's... pro skating rink is like these days. Oh, jeez. There's spikes that'll oh. bust your tires, guys. Be careful. Oh, I see those. Dude, I'm just tumbling. I mean, I'm alive, so that's more like it's safe for most of my uh, fellow competitors, but... Yeah. That stop sign rail is not placed optimally. Oh my gosh, Oh, dude. these are explosive barrel. Dude. Oh! This oh, is the perfection! Something. Look at this! Look at this! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, don't pop your tires, Cappy. Don't pop your tires. Dude, it's like we're stuck in a pinball machine. Or Plinko. Yeah, this is rough. He should have named this Plinko Mega Ramp. All right, going up, All right, up, up. I made it down. Yeah, I did too. I surprisingly did not die on that. I'm kind of shocked. Must be nice. Oh, you do, do you did do the die? Oh, yeah. I oh, I'm going to get this guy midair. It's Cappy. Oh, oh, oh you missed. Oh, God. God. Oh, my God. Cappy almost speared you, dude. You did almost get me. But close only counts on horseshoes and hand grenades. Better luck next time, scrub lord. Me, 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 me. Oh, I'm in fourth place. I'm rocking it. I'm feeling it, not Mr. Krabs. Bad. Yeah, I'm in 14th place. Oh, not that it matters. Oh, There's 43 laps? Bro. Oh, my goodness. Dude, this is going to be a long one. He did yeah. say that it took him a half hour solo. I know. I know what he said. I just, you know, sometimes until you're in it, you just don't really grasp yeah. and plus he's good so this is gonna take Dude. us like 45 minutes do you firmly grasp it jerry firmly there grasp it there i go okay just, just flip the correct that. way just yep, 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 turn yep. over and just okay all and most right. important avoid the spike traps at all costs i don't even know where those are I only saw him like once or twice while I'm riding down. I don't this. know if he knows that he muted himself. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, well, he just yeah. did it. Yeah, Steve, I was just talking. I said spikes. Okay, here we go. Oh. Come uh oh. On. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, someone already took those down. Big. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna do a flip. Nope, not at the time to do a flip. Things are looking <sighs> all right. All right, just gonna go around this slowly but surely. Okay, I'm heading for the pipes. I'm gonna try and spear someone in midair again. Oh I, god. I was close last time, Cap, but I'm gonna nail it this Knowing time. No, in my luck, it'll be me. Steve! Oh my. You and Cap are so, both so lucky. What? No. Dude, you weren't even close. Skilled is what it is. I'm skilled. Well, there's only one other person here, and you know, third time's a charm, so dropsy. I'm right behind speared. you, dude. You're gonna have to really get ahead of me to uh, hit me midair. Fair, fair, fair. I have multiple. So you, pops are you in fifth right now? right now? I'm in fifth, yeah. Yeah, I'm in sixth. Be sure to turn on your your sirens. Hey, watch this, though. <laughs> I think you would have been the loser there, cause I'm an ambulance. <laughs> and ambulances are thick. I wonder, like, in a world where somehow this could be the made world. totally safe, and you could just like hop in a car and go down a mega thing just like tumble. this. And, yeah, like, how much fun would that be? Immense. Immense amounts of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I would have a blast, dude. <laughs> you know what would be, I think, like, an augmented reality, like, virtual reality heads up and, like, a demolition, like, derby would be hilarious and awesome. I've, oh! But I've done a demolition derby without the VR. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. I forgot about that. I've done one. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> what was it like, man? Break it down for us. Not as fun as you'd think. Totally underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, did you just, like, hit a bunch of cars? Like Pretty much hit a bunch of cars, and then the engine died, because they're all beater cars, so, you know. Yeah, it was not, not... meant to last long. You're telling me oh. you're not doing this in a Ferrari? No, well, it was no a, I can't it say. Was, I uh, 
It was a demo derby. Were there Jason, any monster you're a bad trucks? Person. Or... No, no, no monster trucks. It was all just like it was a competition. Oh like you were God, trying to be the last car alive. Oh, so first person, last person to break down, basically. Yes, yeah. So it was a competitive thing. Not that we were like ever part, like you know, like it, we knew we were gonna lose, right? Like the other guys do this. It's their job. Yeah, it's their thing. And so we got crushed. But yeah, I don't know if that, I think that video is still live somewhere. Hopefully. Dude, you should told, dude, if you can, like, cut it up into shorts. Like, how is that not, like, like, that's <clears> total <throat> headlines, Jerry. I got hit by a car. If it's in, <laughs> if it's still alive, I can't remember if it was on my channel or if it was on the Machinima channel. If it was on the Machinima channel, that's gone. They deleted, like, all their old videos. Or private it, at least. Who knows what happened Lame. with them. Well, if you could, would you buy the video off them? Mm, I'll give them a Chris. Crisp five dollar bill. Oh no. Oh Jerry, you need some help. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I got you. The first car was rough. Now the uh second and third was a like a cakewalk. The ambulance super oh, they're simple. beefy. I would have been fine on the ambulance if Vernon hadn't knocked me. Like he dived down and pushed my ambulance off a cliff. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, he did that to me too. Rough. Oh dude. Somehow I beat that with the bus there. That was lucky. Oh wait, is that a bus or no? I think it was a food truck. Very big food truck. What's your guys' favorite food truck style food? Tacos. 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 tacos? Yeah, it's got to be street nah. tacos. I will say I did have a tater tot food truck once, and that was pretty good. My favorite is hot sandwiches. Uh, not hot. Sorry, fat hot sandwiches. What does that mean? And in, in, yeah. uh, at Rutgers, they have the the Are You Hungry uh, trucks, and they sell fat sandwiches. And so, like, my favorite was one that had uh, buffalo chicken, mozzarella sticks, french fries, and uh, I think onion rings on it. Heart hmm. attack in a sandwich, I see. Sounds pretty good. They had every kind of combination you could imagine. And they just jam these on a sub and just send you on your way. They're yeah, really uh, did not... Or have not heard of a fat sandwich till just now. Yeah, that's yeah, the best. Yeah, I gotta agree. Truck. They rebranded to the "Are You Hungry?" for like Rutgers University hungry, but it's like "Are you like a question?" Like "Are you hungry?" Mm -hmm. But their their sandwiches are, I think, oh, still all called fat sandwiches. That is on I think the that's edge. still what they're called. They're awesome. Is it with a PH or just an F? No, nah, just an F. Boring. Okay. Everybody knows. Rutgers, if you, you really think pH. they're spelling it with a PH? I'm just saying, man, it's better. <laughs> Vernon, you need to stop. Jesus. Oh. Vernon's, it says that uh, Awesome Creations got you. No, I, was that uh, Awesome Creations? That's yeah, that's who, that's got. who got you. It must have just been my, like, last thing in my chat that I saw then. It's a cool Mega Ramp map. It is. I've actually gone from 14th to 5th, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, oh a little comeback. God. Nice. Oh, someone's got to break all the balloons on this. Whoopsies. I got to get on that. I'm trying to think about, like, some of the weirder food trucks I've been to. What's, okay, what's your limit on food truck? What food would you not get out of food truck? Oh my gosh. Any Someone sort of fish, I would never get. for no reason. Yeah, I wouldn't get a fish from one. Yeah. Oh, I do down here, uh, but is... I feel more comfortable in Florida, I guess. But if I lived somewhere, like, like if I lived back in Alabama and it was a seafood food truck, I'd be like, ah, I don't oh, know. Oh, you, what, you're scared of the Bama I food got... truck shrimp mobile? <laughs> I got sure glitched. Am. I respawned under the map. I was able to fly through it. I'm like decently far from the destination. Uh, have fun flying, buddy. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, I'm almost back already, but what? Wah, I'm so confused. <laughs> what do heck? How did I respawn underneath the map? How did I get through underneath the map? Sometimes you just uh, accept it. Don't don't ask questions, Jerome. Yeah, I'm just glad I'm back. Oh, this thing shouldn't be too bad. The Stretch Hummer limo? What could possibly oh, go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> One time I was uh, at an art festival and they had these, uh, a really nice, like, food stand is, I would put it on the same level as food truck. At, yeah, like, that's festival. fine. Yeah. Uh, they had these really nice bao buns that you could get. It was just Ooh. so good. I love a good bao bun. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, oh there we go. Spin round. Okay, so like, what's your what's your ballpark snack, guys? Uh, I haven't been to like oh, a baseball field 
like a real one, not like in high school since I was like seven. I don't, I don't Dude. know. <laughs> my my favorite, like I I think stadium, like I, I don't I don't eat chicken really, but stadium chicken tenders is like oh my, the pinnacle yeah. of food. Dude, what about like spicy mustard with some pretzel? Is all I'm saying, like pretzel, soft yeah. pretzel at the ballpark. It's all right, but chicken fingers and fries. Okay, okay. I don't. Oh man, that's that's rough. Because like my brain instantly goes to like hot dogs because that's ballpark Frank. Ballpark right? Frank. But yeah, chicken is also such a good answer. Like, Bro, like, like I'm I'm not even coming with you guys on a chicken. I've never gone to a baseball park and been like, yo, chicken. <laughs> like, Cat, stadium chicken, you're sleeping on. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even be baseball. It. it could be any okay, any like, sporting it, event. But it's just like the spirit of things. Like you've got to get the trash food at the ballpark. Like nachos. Fried chicken at... is trash. <laughs> yeah, not, not, it's, it's not, not good for right. you. I don't listen. That's soul food. Like anything that's good, if it's good for you mentally, I will. I never hate myself after eating fried chicken. I have stadium nachos, and I need to see my priest. It's, yeah, it's fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> like, it's about the spirit of the thing. Like, I can't, like, I'm not supposed to feel good after the game about what I just oh, did. God. I am not <laughs> making it in this car. Fernan just was, I can't explain this, so I'm just, he was on the ground. He was driving. That's clear to from flying the jet. He was driving the jet, <laughs> and I slammed into him as the missile, like, pod launcher thing and demolished him. I'm right behind you, Jerome. <gasps> no, 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 no. You better stop, speed stop, stop, stop. up. Oh All my goodness, jets. the giant Coca-Cola can got me. This is going to be a heck of a launch. You know what slaps at the ballpark, though, is if you can find them? Churros. Oh, churros are good. I always used to love as a kid Dippin' Dots when I was at stadiums, too. Oh, Dippin' Dots. Dippin' Dots. Dippin dots. Dippin dots. Dude, why are all these people trying to hit? I am the missile launcher. You lose as the plane. Like, you I don't lose. think I've had Dippin' Dots since I was, like, 13. Like, it's been a long time. I can tell you guys the last time I had Dippin' Dots. It was when this my morning. mom visited in Florida. <laughs> yeah. That was when my mom visited in Florida, like, uh, late December. That was the last time I had Dippin' Dots. What flavor? Uh, Dippin' Dots flavor. Cookies and cream. That's blue. Mint chocolate blue chip's flavor. my favorite. Okay, people, they're, you know, they're, like, legitimate mint chocolate chip haters. Like, it's not one yeah. of the most classic Why? ice creams of all time. A lot of people Every don't like mint Every person I know chocolate. that loves mint chocolate chip is a dude. I love mint chocolate chip. I don't know. I wouldn't say if it's I peanut either. butter or if it's mint chocolate, it, it's a dude. It's a dude that, that loves that flavor so much. I'm not... Uh, now, this is my hot take that everyone's going to hate me for. I don't dislike it. I want to be very clear there. But it's not like... Uh, my go-to of anything is never peanut butter. Like, my no, go-to flavor. It's not my go-to. Yeah. It's okay. I it's good. Love peanut butter. Dude, I am weak for Reese's. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, Reese's has these chocolate peanut butter covered pretzels. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome, Thank you. Pal. I had been stuck there for a while. Yeah, for a second, I really thought Steve was just like, thank oh, you. Really Someone talking about the peanut butter <laughs> pretzel. Like, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor guy. That was so good. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That was just not even fair. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> like, if you can find them, these things will kill me. They're you know, chocolate there's, and there's, peanut butter covered like animal crackers. 30 something individual, like Reese's products. Right? Wow. Well, because they have their regular milk chocolate and then they have them as like king size and then as like double the peanut butter and then they have like and thins big, and then they have dark ones. chocolate versions of it. And then got they have the pieces one. I was pieces, gonna say yeah. all of the pieces plus the minis. They've got uh, Reese's cup cups. They've got like Reese's puff yeah. cups now, and they have uh, the you mega know crunchy ones. My they have, favorite. Like, actual nuts in them. My favorite Hershey's product though. It, it was a late stage one. It came out like towards the end of my childhood. Take fives. Take fives are just take oh. fives. Okay. They're all right. I, what do you mean I they're think all right? I've never had one. I think they're you should everything. get your flavor buds checked. But take five or they're everything in one. They're pretzels, there's peanut butter, I think there's caramel, I think there's chocolate. There's literally just every, they just throw everything in a bar and it's like, I don't know. Hey, drop here. Are you a flavor bud? I think I'm a flavor bud. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm a, I immediately got I'm a big Twix like a and Kit Kat person. I like when there's oh, cookies and chocolate. Twix is like top tier, dude. Twix is top tier. The only problem I have with Twix is that it, its melt temp is really low. That's fair. Like it just melts in my hands every time. So you got to use the wrapper. Oh my gosh. I don't have that problem. <laughs> I just Are your hands out like of the icy cold grip of death? Uh, I mean, they're probably colder than normal, but I think that's just typical. Like, women just tend to have lower body temperatures, so stuff will just melt in your hands faster. And they have better senses of smell. Dude, they do. I think it's that's starting just to your, make sense. I think that's just a, <laughs> you're immune to your own brew, Jerry. No, it's a real thing. You can look it up. It is. We learned it like... in AP Psych. It's, I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, you don't want to be with a kink, like a stanky caveman. What's wrong with a stanky caveman? Bro, I'm just saying that a caveman has been rolling around in the mint bush is gonna get the cave woman. Grim, where are you at? I think I, I lost you. I uh, I had to respawn as the the mini car. It's kind of a little chaotic, the mini car. God, we have to do all of this twice. Oh, Wait, it, it's all the same cars again. I'm assuming if it's 43 checkpoints. I haven't hit Ugh. the same car yet. Maybe I'm in maybe it comes place. a little later. Maybe. But while I'm flying, it's the perfect time to look Jerome, up and see. Yeah. I've had this thought for a second, and I think this would be a good idea for you. We should just do the buddies tier list of different things. The buddies tier list? Uh, like what do you mean, like? Like, we rate candies and stuff like that, and we debate about it. And then we fight? Yeah, and then we fight. <laughs> Honestly, I think we should do the thing where we get a whole bunch of M&Ms, so and then I we got... crush them individually. According to studies, women excel in absolute detection, discrimination, and identification tasks compared to men when it comes to smell. They're just built different. Real. Well, yeah, I, sh I should hope they're built different. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know the face-to-face -face mega ramp is uh, long whenever it turns to nighttime. <laughs> oh it's yeah. Turn back into daytime. Yeah, I forget what is the the GTA daylight cycle again. It's not. Is it Minecraft times or twenty minutes? Most games, it's twenty to thirty minutes for a day night cycle. I've now made it to second place. That was one of the wild things about Pokemon back in the day, wasn't it? Like a one to one daylight cycle. For Pokemon back in the day, where yeah. you wanted games, to play at yeah. night, it was you, you had to play at night to get night Pokemon. Is it not still the case? I haven't really paid attention. <laughs> no, I don't believe it is. Yeah, I remember. I used to look forward to that as a kid. Like, I remember how cool it was in like Gold and Silver when I, I was probably in like first grade when Gold and Silver came out, and you'd have to wait till like 7 8 p.m. and your parents would be like, "You gotta oh, get off," and be like, "Hold on, like this is the only time I can catch these Pokemons." Like getting an Umbreon was a real thing back in the day oh i never did the sp because i was too the problem with that like as great as they were like my favorite games sure. i was too young to understand some of the like the more in like i was in first grade so like trying to explain like this is how you make your pokemon happy i was like what i just didn't Bro, know. what do you mean they i was like <laughs> yeah what's it matter yeah <laughs> i was like i still am like what does their happiness matter they're meant to battle i don't yeah. care if pikachu it happy. matters in specific generations their happiness it doesn't well, really affect, like, competitive. No, I meant on a spiritual level. Like, I don't care oh, about their happiness. okay, well, like, you know. They're meant for what? battle. What was the first video game you guys, like, played? Like, that you remember? Donkey Kong Country when I was two or three years old with my sisters. Is that the kart racing one, or is that no, the... No, Donkey Kong Donkey Country. Donkey Kong Island. No, or... not none of them, dude. Donkey Kong Country was SNES. one of the SNES. first games I played was Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, my dad had the uh controller and everything and played it on the crt tv <laughs> is this nice. game right here donkey kong country 1994 it came out i remember donkey kong before yeah it was on the snes yeah, oh is that a, like a side scroller one i just linked it yeah it's yeah. a side scroller there you go Sorry, yeah, that, i nice. still own that, that game, game is Jerome. great music 94. I think my sister still owns it. She still has, like, her old SNES. I don't know if the thing works anymore. I mean, I don't know why it would break. It's not like it's been in I use. Have, uh, so I guess it would work. But... I have a classic N64 laying around here somewhere. See, I got all the old consoles and games because my brother and sister didn't really care about them. So mm -hmm. I, I was like, I want to hold on to them. Like, Ow. absolutely. And uh, I've been holding on to them for the past, like, 10 years. <laughs> the first game I played... Uh, 
See, I don't count Sonic because that was just like I got to be Tails while my brother played. Uh, but the first game I really played on my own was a racing game on motorcycles. Ah. Yeah, it was crazy cool. because, like, you could kick other players off of their bikes. Oh, I think oh. I know what you're talking about, actually. I think mean, there's a lot of games with that mechanic. Mm-hmm. But it was like just you're in a lane, and, like, you get you get a club sometimes. Yeah. I can't think of the first game. Like, uh, I know with certainty it was Donkey oh, that Kong Country. This, this Dude, car has I, a boost I have it. a lot of, like, formative memories of, like, all the classic games of, like, playing them. Like, even for the first time, like, I remember the first time I played uh, Medal of Honor Frontline. That was insane. Well, that D-Day thing. Oh, like, I remember the first time I played talking, Halo. My world yeah. has changed. Are we talking first game we played? Air quotes or the first, first game one we you played? Remember. Because I was the kid who, like, the cousins would, like, plug in the, the controller to the back of the, the first one you console. played, Steve. Not the one you convinced yourself or gaslit yourself into <laughs> thinking you were playing. Yeah, I don't remember. I guess by myself would probably be Mega Man Bruh. X. Mega Man, yeah, Just move! Solid. You've already killed me once! Your garage is up And he respawned. <laughs> I'm flying through the air. Oh, no, I think he accidentally car. hit a checkpoint while he was doing that. That's what happened. But you were talking about, like, how it was hard to, like, figure out mechanics as a kid, Jerome. And, like, there were some games that were just way too complicated for me. Like, my brother had to teach me how to play, like, the Elder Scrolls games. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, um... I, uh, I remember, like, like... Morrowind, I had a lot of trouble with, but I loved the game. It was a good game. Oh, Morrowind? I Dude, I'd My problem was when, like, some of the games, like, when we were too, like, too young, and it would give you, like, tasks, sometimes with words you wouldn't even know. Like, I still remember being stuck, and this is to show you how, like, I, I still remember this. This is back... Medal of Honor Frontline probably came out when I was, like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine. I was too young to be playing, and I don't know why my parents got it for me. But, uh... There was in the first me. mission, it's D-Day, and you have to try and go up the beach line, and the, the guy in charge yells at you to get Bangalore up to the front to, uh, to, like, blow through, like, some, like, uh, barbed wire. And, like, I had no idea what Bangalore what, was. What he meant. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what are you, t I remember I sat on that beachhead getting shot at for, like, 30, 40 minutes. And they're like, come on, <laughs> like, you're ruining the advance. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm nine, dude. It's like, help, please, someone explain to me. Just watching people get shot down, it's all my fault. I'm like, I'm only nine, dude. <laughs> I'm holding up the Allied I invasion. Know what I'm, doing. I'm holding up the whole Allied invasion of Europe. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> just like, I don't know, man. It was a lot to deal with at nine. Okay. One of my earliest nightmares was when, after playing um, Halo Two with my dad, the flood. Oh, oh yeah. That that really scared me. Oh, as a kid. the flood was it's such still, an intense the, reveal. The, the thought of it is still like terrifying. But like oh, as a kid, was I was so like, I, I, this game is too scary. The I flood is have... the most intense moment in Halo. I feel like. I still have a disdain. Like, one of my least favorite Halo levels ever will always be the library. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, Halo 1. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Understood. That Heard, level was felt, just... understood. It was just scary and and lots of flood. And it was difficult. It was just... I did not I did not like that level. That was where they introduced the laser weapon, right? Uh, I don't know. Was the Sentinel Beam... Did it make its way into Halo 1? I don't remember. I, I don't remember. I don't remember that. Was it? I feel like the Sentinel Beam and the Flood were related, like, timeline-wise in one of the games, but I'm not sure. I think Jerome, Sentinel did you Beam, I gotta take finish me my out. Lasso campaigns. No. What, you beat it on Lasso? I've beaten the first Halo on Lasso, and I've gone through halfway of Halo 2. Which skulls are those again? I can't remember. I know they're hard. It's all skulls. Always it's, birthday. Um, oh, so, so Legendary all the, skulls on. Uh... I'm, I can try to remember everything because they change depending on the game. Not every game mm. has like the same skulls, but there's always um, birthday grunts. The stuff. hardest one is what was it? Iron or whatever. What's the one that makes you go back if you die, like to start? I was gonna say there's. I was oh gonna say goodness, the skull that. that there's no checkpoints is the hardest one, and that one is in two and three. I think it's one of those. That's just silly. Like that's that like, one. Oh. That well, I whenever I would do uh, lasso campaigns, I'm playing with friends. So like, if you manage to not all die, it's uh, 
fine. But if one person does and you're like at the end of the level, it does reset everybody. So it was it was rough. I remember doing that I think once or trying to. We didn't win, but like we had the same problem where like one person would die and we just reset everyone. I was like this. And is then, so then you the just worst. gotta go again. <laughs> you you really gotta strategize in uh Halo 2 specifically. That to me is like the hardest legendary campaign. I used to hate in Halo 2. Mostly Halo 2. It, I feel like it wasn't as bad in Halo 3, but if you're on Legendary, those Jackal Snipers will come the out of nowhere. Dude, yeah. They'll just come out of <laughs> yeah. nowhere, dude. See, my oh, experience so with sorry. Halo was different that. in that my brother was a big Halo head, and my problem was he wanted to play Versus with me all the time, but I wanted to play co-op. <laughs> you're like, so, I'm tired of getting beat up. Dude, he was so mean. Oh, hey, Jerome. My brother's got Hello. ears on me, so trust me, I get it. <laughs> Dude, so... Like, listen, man, I'm five. You're pathetic. Halo 3, I was good at. But the other Halos, not so much. But Halo 3, I was really good at. Halo uh, CE is... Uh, that's that's my bread and butter. Any any weapon in that, it's I'm I'm good. So that's the like, one campaign I could carry through. Cause one of the one of the skulls is you don't have a HUD, so you don't know yeah. your ammo, you don't know your weapon yeah. unless you specifically go to the start menu, unless you're keeping track. But uh, that's one of the few games that the reticle is actually in the center of the screen. So if you know how to pinpoint, like you can still aim fine. I still have my old there. man take. My old man take is still like. I don't like the new Forerunner weapons. I, I like the game before Forerunner weapons were a thing. Uh, yeah. The DMR is, it's not bad, but like, I don't think it it's needed to it exist. Was. Dude, I don't think it needed to exist. The battle rifle was cool. Like, I don't know. I like I, the battle rifle. Not battle not rifle was cool. I, it's uh, a great starting weapon. Genuinely. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I <laughs> think the battle rifle is good. Bring it, like, make that the forefront of the game. Now it's like it's there, but it, now you get DMRs, I feel like, more, much more frequently. This isn't, like, much of a criticism, but, like, I would say that the Halo shooting style is very rigid. In what way? Well, it's just, like, aim like, down sights. Like, what part of it feels rigid? Well, oh, I mean, just, like, your, the way you control the character like sprint didn't get added and even then it was like as a power up right it was when it was first added yeah when nowadays it it's added. everything yeah. it's a sprint and then or you could have shield or you could um what was it yeah it was, and like, like slight invis there was jetpack i think too yeah and grappling a very hook bad jet too. grappling hooks new but jetpack was added yeah. back in reach and it was pretty yeah. bad honestly in my opinion i don't know maybe I was it was just, just like wrong, but I don't know. I just enjoy mobility in games, and it's a very, it's a very rigid shooter. Like there's no sliding and stuff like that. It's very, it it's good in how pure it is though. In I'm the playing same Halo way. for the story. I just I'm had not a play, I'm not playing it for movement mechanics. If I want to play a game for movement mechanics, I'm gonna load into Apex or something. It like newer so games sad. are much better at that. It makes me so sad how many people say it, like that Halo's for the story, because uh, I agree. But then don't go and like I still watch read lore books. videos to this day. I still read. I That's watched one Elden last Ring. week. Yeah. I watched someone re-explain all of the how the Arbiter connects to Master Chief and like the parallels in their story. Yeah, like. it's awesome. <laughs> I, I'm like, I, like I always try to tell people, I'm like, if you like the games, like I promise you, I, I'm this is gonna get me Best in hot campaigns. water. This is gonna Best get me in campaigns. hot water. But I wouldn't be shocked if it is as well developed of a universe as is Star Wars. With the amount of there's like 30, 40. No, oh, there's so much stuff. That. If you actually go around and like collect the logs and stuff, no, I agree. There's so much. As the books, all of the extras in the games, like. Yeah, there's stuff I don't even know. Like I'm trying to like get back into it. Like apparently, like Halo Infinite has seasons, and you can unlock like cutscenes and stuff. And I'm like, that's cool. That's like, awesome. They I added lore to the battle pass? No! I, I think they did. I could be so wrong. No! I keep seeing lore. Don't make me have to play this game! <laughs> I keep lore! seeing, like, things about it. Like, things online that I'm like, I don't know where this comes from. And, like, I try and follow along, but I've been, like, a little out of the community because I didn't play Infinite. So I've been, like, out of touch with it. I need to, oh, I need I to just suck it up and play. They added a battle pass, and I got go upset, up. so I didn't play it. <laughs> uh, I, I need to suck it up and just play it because I, I love Halo. Oh, it's just, like, like, how did Halo Infinite not launch with co-op though yeah it's kind of lame like it's it, pretty lame halo is the couch co-op game the original one the og is my opinion on it oh yeah yeah i'm with that 
Like, I think it revolutionized sh like, FPS shooter games on console, for sure. I have, like, fond memories of, like, going to a friend's house where there were, like, seven other people, and we set up a two-TV LAN system so we could 4v4. Yeah. We used to have system oh, link I, parties, I, we used I to I only call ever them. got to play with yep. my dad, because my mom still didn't like Those video games. Those were always games. the best. Really, Dropsy, you couldn't help me out here? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. <laughs> you just drove right past me. Just That's yeah. my bad. Leaving like, me hanging. I'm right at the end. Well, we used to I love still... System Link parties. You want to hit me with a plane? Oh, my gosh. Like, uh, I still remember okay. to this day a game I played of Infection no, I can't where be. I just, I I managed to get someone on the, uh, the like, four-wheeler. There were two of them on there, and I got the driver first, oh, the and I just followed up. Uh, no, uh, it was the uh, four wheeler, just like oh, not. Oh, oof, sorry, not, oh, the not the terrain. The, the okay. mongoose. Yeah. Not the. 18 I always love driving around the ghosts. I they're so neat. I still remember I had a birthday party one time at a place. It was a computing place, so you could do like big land things, and we did uh, -huh. uh Halo Two. We had wait, sixteen they, people wait, in Halo Two. They had buildings that they let you like rent out to do land oh, parties. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, they did, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't, like, rent it out. They would have, like, they did everything there. So they, like, well, you could rent it out, I guess. Yeah, that is the proper word. But, like, it, it was it was literally a place where, like, after school, some kids, like, if your parents mm -hmm. couldn't pick you up or whatever, like, you would just, like, you would get dropped off there or whatever. It was one place, and, like, they'd charge you, like, I don't know, five, ten bucks an hour. And they they had computers everywhere, Xboxes, anything you could possibly imagine. It was just, like, any gamer. Oh, I spawned under the map. Man, I had to go to Boys and Girls Club. I would have way preferred that. Yeah, it was pretty sick. It was pretty sick. And so I did my birthday there. A lot of my friends had birthdays there. It was, like, the coolest spot because you could. it was the only time you could get 16 people together and, like, do a and land party. And play the one game. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude. Maybe I just haven't been to an arcade in a while, but arcades, are they still a thing, or are they kind of falling out of popularity? They're still, ah, still a thing. They're still a thing. Still a thing, big time. They're revolutionizing them. I would say legitimately depends on the state and, like, city, but where I am, still a thing. I would say I they're still a thing, but they're not, they're not, like, the same, though. They're very that's different. Different. Like, they're very, re like, they're, they're, they have There's new technology. There's one in Orlando I really like that's a, specifically a pinball arcade, and I'm like, heck yeah. Yeah, I, I went to a whatever. pinball arcade uh, over the weekend, actually. Uh, from you the arcades I've been to recently, it's not like they still have the old things, Cap, but like there's a lot of new like tech and stuff in the arcade world that's just like not touched. Like a lot of cool yeah. new stuff. Well, my thing is just like I remember being a kid and going to like CC's Pizza and then there was an arcade section that was really cool. And it's just like I like I don't see the arcades being very good anymore. That may just be my area, but like, yeah, I want I so bad. If I could open a diner slash arcade, I would. I totally would, like 100%. Well, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. We'll see you next time. Bye.